crashes over me, crashes over me. I think what comes to mind is yieldedness, openness, maybe radical honesty as a baseline, as a start. I mean, that's the starting place of any relationship. And we're talking about a relatable God. We're talking about a healing God. We're, and that's the baseline of healing and relationship is radical honesty. So coming as we are, but yielded to be transformed. So we come as we are, but we don't, we leave, we leave liberated. We, you know, and even coming and going, that's, that's just like a, that's, that's a small way of talking about it because our goal is communion. Our goal is to stay aware, to stay conscious, to stay present with the presence of God. Um, and, and yielding is a hourly, minute to minute, second to second act, um, body, soul, spirit. So I'd say yieldedness and openness to change and radical honesty. A response. It feels like a natural response to love when we've been loved, when we realize we're loved, when we come into the clarity of love, when we're moved by grace because of love. The, it's like the only natural response. Um, and it gets me out of my head, which is where I get stuck almost every day. So to me, it's, it's, a, it's a responsive pathway and it's also a decision because it's the both end of deciding. Just, there are commitments to love. There are decisions that about building a relationship based on love. So it's, I get to decide every morning if I'm going to yield to love um, or yield to my own passions and desires and distortions. And so to me, the decision, which is only given through grace anyways, um, is also a response but I, I remind myself of that decision and put myself on the pathway of that, which then increases the communion and the conversation, which then increase the, the natural response is there. It's there in all of us. We're worshipers, we're born worshipers. You don't have to think your way into it, but as far as directing my self to what I will worship, what I will spend my time on, what I will think, those, those things. It's both and, a decision and a response. That's such a, such a big topic, very broad. Um, I think the thing that comes to mind is that it will always be a matter of the heart. The universal truth of that, the universal principle of that is that it will always be a matter of the heart. Everything yields to that, all of our liturgy, all of our language, all of our rituals and our routines and our gatherings, which I love. I love, I grew up in church and I love the rhythm of Sunday church. I, I love liturgy. I love putting myself in the disciplines and the path. It, um, all of those things are meant to serve the matter of a heart turning towards God. So I would encourage us to keep revisiting and reinstating and reconnecting to that. That is, that is always going to be the point. Everything that we do as far as music or expression or whatever it would be, it, it's, it's all meant to serve as a soundtrack for someone's heart that's turning and responding. So I would say let's, yeah, let's all stay on the, on the path of like this, this is a matter of the heart. It's always going to be a matter of the heart. Yeah. Hi, Worship Leader Community of South Korea. I'm Amanda Cook, and I just want to encourage you to keep following the way and the path of Jesus. <laughs>